Hey, Rudy here with the Rhinestone World. So I was searching through Facebook today, and uh, I was quite inspired by one of our good friends over here from Caesar. So here we have a post made by the Caesar page today. Um, you can see this is Joe, which makes a lot of their videos. Uh, if, you have to, if you guys have not checked out the, the Caesar uh, YouTube channel, make sure you guys do. They have a lot of great information in regards to all the HCV materials. Um, but I was inspired. He made a cool little blog about how to make this shirt here that he's wearing. So uh, my inspiration came in, and I figured, hey, why don't we keep that trend going and uh, go ahead and trace this picture of him here and uh, throw it on our shirt. So that's the that's the, the mindset behind this this training here. So let's go ahead and go over to Corel Draw and bring this image in and show you guys how we're going to trace this particular um, photo here, convert it to a vector file. Uh, which we can then cut on our vinyl cutter and press onto our garment. All right. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to go ahead and bring this image over to Corel Draw. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit copy picture. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and open Corel X8. So here we're working with X8 and now I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit paste. So that's going to bring in the image from Facebook. All right. So next step is I want to make sure that we cut down the image a little bit. So we're going to crop the image. So we're not working with all this air, uh, blank area here, all right, or this dead space here. So I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side, grab my crop tool, and then I'm going to go ahead and just again, left-click down, drag my mouse, and then create a nice little area around the image that I want to cut out. Now notice here we got a little bit of a, a little bit of space here. We want to make sure that we go all the way to the top, so I can just drag our uh, dimension box here and drag it up. So there it is. Now. To complete the cropping process, let's go ahead and double click on the image, and there it is. So there's my brand new um, image here that we're going to work with. The next thing I want to do, because this is a color image, and we are working with our HCV materials, we're going to go ahead and vectorize this image. So the first thing to do that is we're going to go up here to the top and go to bitmaps, and then go to mode. Now under mode, we have some different options here. I want to go with black and white. All right, so we're going to convert this into a black and white image. Now here we have conversion method. Make sure you guys are working with line art. All right, line art because again we're vectorizing the image, so we can cut it with a vinyl cutter. All right, and then you can mess with the threshold here if you want to give it a little bit more detail or less detail for the image. Now we were, I was actually pretty happy with where we were there, so let's go ahead maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more detail. All right, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead. Now that we're happy with the way our image looks, let's hit OK. And there is our black and white image. All right, so next step is actually tracing this image or vectorizing it. All right, so we're going to go up here to Trace Bitmap and then Outline Trace. Again, we're working with the line art, so let's go ahead and left click on line art. And that's going to bring up our Power Trace window here. So that's going to go through the design, and you can see now it vectorizes it for us. Now I can also move our detail here if I want to give it more detail or less detail. Um, which obviously is going to make the weeding process a little bit easier if we go less detail, but more detail is going to give obviously uh, more detail of the actual image to the design to the actual final product. All right, so we'll go right around there. That looks good. Let's hit OK, and now we have our vectorized image here. So if I go to wireframe, you guys can see we have cut lines now, and this should I mean it'll take a couple extra seconds to weed, but. Um, realistically it shouldn't be all that bad all right so we're happy there now we can go in and edit this image if we want to if you want to remove the background or move uh, remove certain areas of the design we can go ahead and do that as well all right so we're gonna go ahead and work with this let's go ahead and get ready to send this over to my cutter um, so we're gonna go ahead and use our rolling today um, so let's go ahead and prep this up and uh, get it over sent over so we can cut this image out all right so we use Corolla draw to vectorize our image over there and now I brought it into cut studio so I have it set up in Cut Studio, ready to send to my cutter. As you can see, we're working with our Roland GS24 and also our Caesar Easy Weed White Material. All right, so let's go over here and check out what settings we're going to be working with today. All right, so as we can see here, I've already done a test cut, so I know the 70 is going to be a perfect force for my cut job here today. And we're also going to be working with our 45 degree blade. All right, so 45 degree blade, we can see here our cut that we've made already. So let's go ahead and uh, begin our cut, send our, our image over here to our cutter and create this design. All right, so I'm over here in the cutter. I'm going to go to my cutting settings here. Now I've had my, sets, my settings already placed on the actual cutter, so we're going to be using those settings. So I'm going to go right here and just hit OK. Since I have all my settings set to machine settings, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and that's going to start our cut here.
All right, perfect. Looks like we're all done here. Let's go ahead and get our material off our cutter and get to weeding. All right, so we're going to bring the lever down right here, and we're going to now pull out our material. As you can see, there we have our cut job. Pretty nice done. So now I'm going to go in there and weed it with our TRW Magic Weeding Tool. And also, I'm going to make sure that when I cut this part of our um, material out, I'm going to make sure I save any scraps. All right, scraps are always very important for customizing later on. All right, so make sure you guys utilize the scraps. All right, so let's go ahead and get this weeding job done so we can go ahead and press it onto our garment. All right, so you guys can see here, I'm using my weeding tool here to help me weed through this design. So let's go ahead and weed it completely through, and then we're gonna go over here to our heat press and press this garment, or press this onto our garment. All right, so there's our finished weeding process there. As you can see, there's a lot of detail to this design, but again, the white easy weed makes it very simple to take off the excess, and now we're ready to press this onto our garment. So let's go over here to our heat press and show you how we're gonna press this on. All right, so we're over here on our uh, Caesar Red Clam. Now this is 11 by 15, so you can see we got a nice ply in here to work with. Now, I am also using 100% cotton district shirt from Sanmar here, all right? So, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little pre-press to make sure we get all the wrinkles and all the moisture off our garment. So, again, just quick little pre-press here. Only a couple seconds, doesn't have to be too much. Now, we have our area where we want to actually place our transfer is nice and warmed up for us. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that transfer on there. Again, here's our completed transfer. Now we're going to line it up based off the collar, all right? So I'm going to line it up. I know this is a pretty symmetrical design based off of the, it was, a, it was originally a square design. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up here. Now I'm also using the armpits to kind of give me the, um, the center point here, all right? So using the armpits, I'm going to go ahead and drop this right around here. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and grab a Teflon sheet, place that Teflon sheet right over my design, and press this onto our garment. All right, so we're at 311, 310. I'm going to press this design for 10 seconds. Beautiful. All right, so now that we've pressed our, our transfer onto our garment, I'm going to go ahead and grab our carrier sheet and just peel. And you can see how nice that turned out. We have a beautiful shirt here. So there is our awesome looking design. All right, so here it is, guys. Here's the finished product. As you can see, we have just now converted that PNG image posted on our Facebook page and put it on a T-shirt using our Easy Weed Vinyl rolling cutter and trw design wizard software all right so again guys if you guys have any questions at all my name is rudy with the rhinestone world make sure you guys give us a call telephone number is 941-755-1696 have a great day crew